Welcome to another interesting class. Today we are going to be learning an interesting topic titled Why do some plants have flowers? Wow, what's this? This picture is so beautiful. This is a flower. A flower is the part of a plant that makes seeds. So flowers make seeds. Wow, have you seen a plant? Having flowers before? Yes, I have seen one before and lots of many plants and they have flowers. What's the function of these flowers? They make seeds. Wow, can you see the pictures of different types of flowers? Abiscus flowers and so many flowers. Wow, these flowers are so beautiful and they have different colors. Pretty flowers, red flowers here, purple, lilac, and green. So flowers are very beautiful and they are pretty too. Do you know that most plants come from seeds? Yes, seeds. So plant comes from seeds and a seed has a baby plant inside it. Hmm? But where do seeds come from? Yes, I'm asking you, where does seeds come from? Most seed comes from flowers. Flowers have a special way of making seeds. Yes, most seed comes from flowers. And they have a special way of making seeds. Wow, can you see the various seeds? Many, lots of seeds, yes. So, flower comes from seeds. Sometimes a flower pollen stays with the flower that made it. Sometimes pollen travels to another flower. Weeds can carry pollen and animals can also take pollen from one plant to another or from one flower to another. Yes, weeds and animals are agents of pollination. They help to take pollen grains from one plant to another. Wow, wind. Can you see the wind carrying these pollen away? Wow, just imagine this pollen lands on another plant. Hmm, what takes place? Pollination takes place. Oh, wow. Animals can also take pollen from one flower to another. Can you hear the bird making sounds, singing? <laughs> yes, animals like birds can also take pollen from one flower to another. Hmm. Can you see the bird trying to use his beak to pick pollen from this beautiful flower? Wow, such a pretty pollen. And now we are going to look at the meaning of pollen. Do you know pollen is a special powder made by flowers? Yes, yeah, special powder made by flowers. That's what pollen is. When pollen lands on a special part of the flower, the flower swells. Mm, yes, it swells and makes it fruit. Yes, so when the flower swells, it begins to make fruit. Mm. And fruits are so, 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 so sweet. Have you tasted any fruit before? Me, I love eating fruits like mango, orange, apple, or these are fruits. The flower later dies, but the fruit grows, 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 grows. And very soon, they start eating those fruits. Wow, this is a beautiful fruit. Wow, and it's strawberry. Can you see that this fruit came from this flower? Yes. Now, how many fruit can we see here? One, two, three, four, four fruits. But let's count the flower. One, two, three, four, five. I can see five flowers. This flower is going to turn later into beautiful and sweet fruits like this color red fruit, strawberry. Wow, these are very fruits, lemon, strawberry and other fruits that you love eating because they are very sweet and they are tasty. 
A fruit has seed inside it. Apple, lemon, and cherries are examples of fruits. They all grow from flowers and have seed inside them, like a slide that we just saw previously. We eat fruit because it tastes good and it's good for us. Fruit is also good food for the seed inside it. When the seed germinates, the fruit gives the seed the food it needs to keep growing. The fruit breaks down into food for the new plant. Yes, when it germinates, the food gives the seed the food it needs to keep what growing. Yep, the fruit breaks down into food for the new plant. Breaking, breaking down into new food for the new plant. Now let's look at the function of flowers. One, flowers help in pollination by attracting, attra attracting insects with their bright colors and sweet smell. They help to beautify our environment. Yes, number two, it helps to beautify our environment. Then thirdly, they are sold for money. So flowers are sold for money. If you go to different gardens, they have flowers which they sell and they get money. So it's like a business of any particular person owning a garden of lots of flowers. Wow, this is a fruit, pear fruit and apple fruit. And can you see the seed? The apple has lots of seeds. Let's count one, two, three, four, five seeds. But this pear avocado pear has only one big seed. Hmm. I love eating fruits. Pollination. What's pollination? This is the transfer of polygrains from the anther to the stigma of a flower. And there are two types of pollination. We have the cross pollination and the self pollination. And self pollination takes place between one particular flower, as in pollinating itself. But cross pollination involves the transfer of polygrains from the anther to the stigma of another flower. Wow, can you see pollination from flower one to flower two? The butterfly is taking polygrams from flower one to flower two, and that's how pollination takes place. What a lovely picture! I love pollination. Do you love it too? So, without flowers, there will be no fruit, and without fruits. There would be no seeds. Thanks for viewing. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and I enjoyed myself too. See you in our next class. I remain your humble teacher, Miss Irene Omori. Bye for now. I love you.